everybody in here. I've already had my coffee. I had my coffee hours ago because I got up at about 4.30 and I just started doing stuff. In fact, I was doing stuff before I even went to the bathroom. And that is a point of contention for me because I'm very cranky because, well, I got up this morning and noticed some disgusting developments in my composting toilet. I'm not even going to show you. It's just so, so gross, but... Apparently some gnats had gotten in there and uh, let's just say the chickens love maggots. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I, I'm also cranky because I built a thing and it is awful. It is the worst thing I've ever built in my entire life. I mean, it's just like, what the, what the what? Let me show you. You guys had already seen that I had closed the chicken yard and put in some steaks and some stuff like that well check this out look at look at I put up some netting and I did raise it with that big thing and I put that up there and it kind of dips down um that's because this pole it isn't it's uh in the ground okay but it's too flexible so it won't like hold this up higher so it dips down um and it's just it is the most awful jankiest looking chicken yard and cover I've ever seen and you know what check this out I gotta show you this too what what is going on over here would you look at this crazy chicken yeah you're in a pickle aren't you look at this oh my gosh yeah so I'm not happy about it what I need to do is I need to get some actual steaks, some hard steaks like I've got here and there around the chicken yard. I need to use those. I need to pound them into the ground. I need to redo this whole cover, redo the chicken wire, and I'll do it eventually. But, um, well, here, at least I bolstered this area. I did put a stake here, and it's not in very good because my auger won't drill down deep enough. Um, so I just kind of put a little brick against there. So I pulled this back. So maybe, maybe Olive won't jump up on it and get caught up in the netting again. I don't like that at all. The netting needs to come up higher. And this, I think this needs to come up higher too. The chicken wire. So I'll do that all eventually. But at least it's keeping them inside. So that's, that's good. Olive is thankfully setting in pretty well. I had to chase her into the coop last night. That wasn't too hard though. Um, and everybody seemed fine this morning. She still chases the littler birds around, but that's to be expected. So I think it's going to be okay. I'll just be glad when I can get a rooster in here just to kind of keep things real, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I need to figure out a dust bath situation. They don't really have one. So maybe I'll do that today. Who knows? So this morning I got to clean out some composting buckets and work with the composting heap. And I got to tell you that first year compost, it is looking really gorgeous. I think to play it safe before I use it on anything, um, this will be its first year, the, the first bin that I started. Um, it's been going for about a year and a half. I'm going to let it go three years before I'm going to use it. So I'm going to use a three-year system. The first one has another year and a half. The second one, a couple years. And then I'm going to start a third one and just keep cycling them like that. So I will know for sure that all the stuff in there is composted really well. And the, the weird thing is, is there is absolutely no odor at all around that compost heap. Of course, I work with it. I keep, um, you know, when I dump a bucket, it is covered up immediately, so you can't smell it. Um, but I do what Doug and Stacy do. I, I let it compost in the bucket for several months before I even du uh, dump it on the heap. It's already composted down, like almost by half, so that's good. That's going to work. In, a, in about three years, I'm going to have, well, two years, two more years, I'm going to have some great compost. And then every year after that, I'm going to keep having great compost. So that's a bonus, but I was not prepared for that whole toilet thing. So what I did is, of course, uh, washed out a bucket. I had already washed out a bucket, but I let it sit out in the sun and let the UV rays um, treat it. 
cleaned off the lid, sanitized everything, and um, I have dusted the inside of the bucket with diatomaceous earth. I've also dusted the underside of the seat with diatomaceous earth, and I've also used the lemongrass essential oil that Doreen sent me. Um, it smells lovely for one and I don't think flies and other insects and and whatnot. I keep saying whatnot. It's just it's just part of me <laughs> get used to it um, I don't think insects like the smell of that. I love the smell of it So I put some of that in there. So we'll see if that works because the last thing you want is to get up and see little creepy crawlies on your toilet still gross. It was just so disgusting Anyhow, uh, you know, chickens love to eat maggots, you know, I need to think about that. Anyway, I, I don't know what else I'm going to get done today. It's starting to heat up a little here. Um, got two eggs so far. I'm just going to kind of relax for a little bit because I've been working all morning and uh, see what this day brings. <laughs> I just heard another crack thud out of my wood, so I think today I might process some wood. i got to go find that other limb. I don't know where, I know it's off. Off in back of the tiny house somewhere, so looky the baby chickens. Yeah, so I'm gonna go find some wood. I found me some miniature puffball mushrooms. They're all over my yard. These are the best specimens I could find. Um, a lot of them have gone to spore already, but these are edible, so I'll just uh, toss them in a dish tonight for dinner. Not sure what I'm gonna make. I'm take them home and wash them off a little bit better. And cook them up. Don't even need to come cut them up because they're already little tiny baby size. One thing you got to be really, really careful about when harvesting these little puffball mushrooms is there are other mushrooms that look like them when they're immature, but they're not like them at all. So this is puffball mushroom. Turn that over. And this, something totally different. Okay. <laughs> See, it's got a little bulb at the top there but it's already broken out of its veil. This is a poisonous mushroom, this is not. So you gotta know the difference. This one has a cap that's developing. Um, you definitely, God, my nose is running. Uh, you definitely don't wanna eat these and you don't wanna, you don't want to confuse them. The puffball mushrooms won't have any stem. You break them open, they won't have any sign of gills. Cute, isn't it? This is what I pulled out so far. Um, this is basically all from that one tree that fell. I couldn't find the other one that fell just now. It's back in there somewhere. Um, not the biggest limbs. That's about how big they are. But they're big enough and they'll burn. And then I got plenty of kindling wood too. But it's starting to rain. I wish I were able to do this before it started raining so I could get them up underneath a tarp or something. But it's gonna have to wait till tomorrow because I'm exhausted and my bones are aching because it's raining. But I'm thankful for the rain. Gotta uncover the rain barrels. I don't know if you guys remember me telling you, but I, I keep these covered because even though they're in black tubs, the sunlight comes in from the top and algae grows. So I keep them covered up. But not when it's getting ready to rain because, well, you know what? These are, these are basically full, but they can get fuller. Same with this one over here. Definitely uncover it. And this one is about half full, so I could stand to have a little bit more water in this one. Might be really hard for you to see, but this is the top. That's the water line right there. So this one is basically full. That's a bonus. Oh, I did put the shower area back here just because it's easier. I don't have to carry a bucket. I just put the bucket right inside there, fill it up, take a shower, and I'm golden. I just kind of put it up like I did the other one. Oh, I forgot to take those in. That's okay. Yeah, these don't stand up very well, so I put cinder blocks like the other time. But you know what I was thinking? I was thinking of actually building a structure around this. Maybe someday. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a mess. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go on inside, find where Papa is. I bet she's underneath the van. And uh, make some lunch. And then, I don't know how long it's going to rain today. I don't care. I'm beginning to really love the rain. And it's weird. The last few days, it's been raining and then the sun will come out and give me solar. So, I mean, it's just been wonderful. <sighs> Anyhow, 
that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.